United States, but I lived in Florida for the past seven years, and now I'm in Barcelona, Spain. I am an au pair, so I live in the home of a family, and I teach English for VIP kid also, and I do private tutoring. So I start my weekdays by waking up at 8 a.m., uh, I get the kids ready for school, so that's what I'm going to do now, and then I will talk to you guys more after I drop them off at 9 o'clock. Hello again, so I just dropped the girls off at school, it starts at 9, so now I have from 9 to 4.30, free from my host family that I have, I can do whatever I want, um, so every day usually I go on a hike, which is where I'm headed now, and I also do my VIP kid classes while the girls are in school, and I'm uh, in my last semester of my master's, so I'll study too. So my weekdays really aren't that exciting, but I'll show you some of the streets here and then a view from the mountain and send me your questions. All right, so I've reached my destination of the mountain, so I'll give you guys a view. A lot of Spain is really mountainous, which I love. There's hikes you can do everywhere, which being from Vermont is awesome. Too. And then now I will also answer a lot of questions I've been giving, getting in my personal Instagram DMs. Um, a lot of people are asking about COVID, obviously. It's been a huge problem here. Um, since the lockdown ended in June, I think, life has been pretty normal. Um, nightclubs have been closed for the majority of the time. Bars and restaurants have been open, but they just have to close at 1. But as of this Friday in Catalonia, the bars and restaurants are closing again for two weeks, so they say. That's what they said the first time, and it was three months, though, so we'll see. Um, you have to wear masks everywhere you go. Right now I'm hiking, so I don't need to, but normally you do. And another big question I usually get is about the visa that I have to live here. So I actually came here on a tourist visa, which is good for three months. I have been here since January, so obviously that has expired. I planned on <clears throat> border hopping, but obviously that is impossible now as well. So I am illegal here, but there are ways to become legal, even though you are illegal. Actually, a lot of people come here. I'm not recommending you do this, but you can come here illegally. And if you prove that you've been living here for three years, you can get a residency visa and you can work here. Or there's a Jarecho de Pareja visa, where if you're lucky enough to find a relationship here, you can just say you're in a relationship and live with that person. And you also can get a visa. So now I'm trying to decide if I want to stay here long term and do one of those things or if I want to go back to the U.S., something I need to figure out pretty Okay, so one thing ITA wanted me to talk a lot about is my homestay because uh, I guess it hasn't really been spoken about a lot on this, but... So I found my family through a website called opairworld.com. Um, I was at my job. I worked for the government of Florida, actually, so a very stable job. And I was thinking, is this really what I want to do for the rest of my life? Just come to an office and work eight hours a day and then never live abroad, which I always wanted to do. So I went on the website, got contacted by this family. I always knew I wanted to be in Barcelona. I don't know why, just in sync. So then I moved and everything has been good. Having the TEFL cert really helped, I think, because a lot of these host families, they expect you to teach their children English. So being a certified English teacher really got me a lot of opportunities. I got offers all over the world to come and stay with these families. But like I said, I want to be in Barcelona. So I came here. And so I, as I said before, I wake up at 8 help the kids get ready for school, which is really easy. It's twins, they're 11 year old girls, so they're pretty independent. Um, I walk them to school, they have to be there by nine. I have until 4.30 and then I go pick them up. I bring them a snack to eat on the walk home and every day they have after school activities. So I literally just walk them to their activities and one day a week I teach them English for two hours in the evening and by 9 p.m. I'm free to do whatever I want again, so really, it's a pretty easy job. I live with the family for free. I eat the family and they pay me per day, so I make money and I live for free. Plus my VIP kid classes and my private tutoring for another family. I have been able to save money since living here, which usually 
without the at home stay people generally make even because you don't really get paid too much here but with my opportunity i've still been able to save money which is great so i can travel and still save money for my retirement because i'm old <laughs> All right, I'm back from my hike now and I'm showered. So now I'll do the apartment tour. So this is our front entrance. Kitchen. Pretty small. Most uh, apartments in Spain, especially Barcelona area, are pretty small. <laughs> Here's the living room slash office type area. Balcony from the living room. Um, went this way. Here's the bathroom the family shares. I pretty much get a bathroom to myself. Parents' room. Here's the hallway. In my bathroom. It's pretty basic. Here's the girls' room. With another balcony. Here's the extra room. And then this is my room. I literally just put my computer on this mini piano and then this is my background I have a whiteboard and I have some tools in that closet some props and then my view out here and that's the apartment Another thing I wanted to talk about is to make friends, especially during coronavirus. It's pretty hard. Thankfully, I met some people my first week here. I ended up staying with a friend actually during quarantine. So that was nice. But then during quarantine, my only other one friend left. So I made friends. If you move to a new country, I highly recommend joining Facebook groups like international girls gone whatever city you're at or meetups whatever city you're at for guys too because it can be difficult to make friends in another country especially if you're not fluent in that language so i highly highly recommend looking up facebook groups before you go start talking to people messaging people even on the um tefl website tefl facebook is where I actually met my first friend and then my second friend who introduced me. So it's almost 4.30. I'm now on my way to walk to the school. It's like a five minute walk to pick the girls up. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, they have football or soccer, as we would call it. So I literally pick them up from school, go home, change, walk them to soccer, and then I'm free while they're at uh, soccer. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, they also have a tutor. And Tuesday, Thursdays, they also have English class with an academy. So really, I'm just walking them to their after-school activities. And while they're there, I can do what I want also. And Thursdays, I teach them for two hours. And here's some street views. Pretty basic of Spain. Small, just bars, restaurants. I live in a residential area, so a lot of condos. And that's it. So I just picked up the girls from school. One of them is a little shy, so she won't be in the video. But here's the other one. Her name is Maria. And they're not so bad. <laughs> Hello, probably for the last time. It's almost 8 o'clock. I just got done my private tutoring with the other family I work for. I was there from 6 while the girls were at football, or soccer I mean. And they now have a tutor at the house while the rest of the time I was teaching. So now I'm just going to go home. I really don't have to do anything. I'll probably just watch TV and answer the rest of your questions. And... If you want to follow me on Instagram for my everyday life, I'll leave my handle here.